My name is Ellen and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Happy Christmas War is Over on the guitar. So stay tuned if this is something you want to learn. Make sure to subscribe to my channel that way you never miss out on another new tutorial. And also follow me on Instagram for your chance to win a free lesson with me. And guys, really quickly I wanted to thank Journey Instruments. I'm actually using one of their collapsible travel guitars in this video that folds in half and fits right into a backpack that you can take with you anywhere. So if you know someone who would love this for Christmas, make sure to visit the link in my description to check it out. Alright guys, so this song is going to be really great if you're a beginner because you don't need a capo to play it in the original song and there's only six chords and one strumming pattern, so let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at the chords you need to know. Like I said, there are only six for the entire song. So we'll start with our A chord, which looks like this and sounds like this. After that we have our B minor chord, which is a bar chord, and that looks like this and sounds like this. Now if bar chords are hard for you or that's something that you're struggling with, you can do this alternate version of B minor, which looks like this and sounds like this. All right, That way you don't have to bar that first finger. Um, but that's just an option if you don't want to do the regular barred B minor. After that we've got our E chord which looks like this and sounds like this. Then we have D which looks like this and sounds like this. Next we have our E minor chord which looks like this and sounds like this. And then the last chord you need to know is our G chord, which looks like this and sounds like this. All right, and those are the only chords you need to know to play this song. All right, so after you have those chords memorized, go ahead and take a few moments to practice transitioning between them because this song is very repetitive, so it does transition the same throughout the song. Um, I do have a TMT right here if you want to get some tips and tricks on how to transition between chords faster. Um, but after you have that down, let's go ahead and jump into the strumming pattern I want to show you for this song. Alright, so like I always start out with my strumming patterns in my songs. If you are struggling with singing and playing guitar at the same time, I would go ahead and recommend doing a simple practice pattern. That's just going to be one simple down strum on the beat for every chord change. So let me go ahead and go through an example of what that would look like. We have our A chord down, since that's the first chord in the song, and you just want to strum down once. Then you go to your next chord, B minor. Then you have E and then you go back to A. And this really simple strumming pattern is really gonna help if you are trying to sing and play at the same time. So what I want you to do is go ahead and just sing through the song and just do one strum on every chord change. So this is Christmas, two, three, and what have you done? Two, three, another year over, two, three, New one just be one, two, three, four. All right, and you just kind of want to take that through the whole song with that one down strum pattern, and you want to focus on what word you are going to be singing with each of those strumming changes. All right, and once you get that, let's go ahead and jump into the actual strumming pattern I do want to show you for this song. It's super simple. All you want to do is down, down, up, down, up, like this. Thank you. 
and we're gonna play that strumming pattern through either two times or four times for every chord, depending on what part of the song you're in. But if you're curious about that, I do have a playthrough here at the end where I'll go through all of that, okay? Um, but again, let's go ahead and practice this with our A chord on, since that's the first chord in the song. All you wanna do is go down, down, up, down, up, all right? And that's the strumming pattern one time through, but again, like I said, you wanna repeat this twice or four times. So for the A chord, we're gonna repeat this four times. So we've got one, two, ready, go. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Three times, four times. All right, so you wanna do that for every chord. So again, we're gonna go from our A to our B minor and do that same thing. Down, down, up, down, up, twice, three times, We've got our E chord, same thing. Down, down, up, down, up twice. Three times, four times. Then you go back to A. One, two, three, four. All right, great. And for all of the verses, it will be that similar pattern where you're gonna repeat it four times. However, in the choruses, you're going to have some chords that are only repeated twice. So let's go ahead and go through the chorus. So in the chorus, we're gonna start with our G chord and we're gonna play this through four times with the same pattern. So we've got down, down, up, down, up twice, three times, four times. Then we go to A, once, twice, three times, four times. Then to finish off the chorus, the rest of these um, chords, you wanna just only repeat twice. So we've got our E minor, one, twice, then you go to G, once, twice, then finish out with D, once, twice, then E, once, twice. All right, so just keep that in mind, like watch out whether we're gonna repeat it four times or two times. Again, all of this will be displayed at the end for the playthrough, so it'll all be really clear what we're gonna be doing. All right, so let's go ahead and go through the chorus and uh, put some singing with it just so you can hear it, okay? So we're starting with our G chord. Very Merry Christmas. Twice. Three times. Happy New Year. Two times. Three times. Let's hope it's a good one. Twice. G with that E. So basically, that is the strumming pattern. You can apply that for the entire song. It sounds really great. Again, all you have to keep in mind is which chord you're gonna be playing four times and which chord you're gonna be playing twice. But again, that's all here at the playthrough at the end. So once you have that strumming pattern down, let's go ahead and pair that with our chords and everything else we learned in this tutorial to play through the whole song. And so happy Christmas War is Over by John Lennon. Good luck. So this is Christmas. What have you done? What have you done? No one just begun. And so this is Oh,
thank you so much for joining me for this special holiday edition of my tutorials. I hope that you enjoyed playing through this song with me. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up down below as well as to subscribe to my channel. That way you never miss out on another new tutorial. Big thank you to Journey Instruments for sending me this beautiful travel guitar that collapses and everything you saw at the beginning. Make sure if you are interested in these to use my affiliate code in the description box down below. I do get a percentage of everything sold there so that does help my channel to grow and allows me to continue making these free tutorials for you guys. So that does conclude my tutorial. I hope that this helped you. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays wherever you are in the world. And um, I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.